Have you ever wondered why there are so many videos about making money with AI generated images on YouTube but there doesn't seem to be many people that are actually making money with AI generated images in this video i am going to explain total 8 tried and tested methods for making money with AI generated images all of these methods have been tried either by me or by some of my friends to make considerable amount of money i have divided the eight methods into three main categories and there is a bonus category at the end of this video the first category is digital product this is the fastest way to make money if you know what you are doing also the most profitable one because you can keep earning money from your products for years after years without adding any extra effort at all there are mainly two types of digital products that you can make with ai images that brings you money the first one is stock images this comes with the lowest barrier to entry it is very easy to create a lot of ai stock images within a very small time generally in case of stock image industries it takes a lot of time to create actually good stock images if you are clicking photos you have to prepare a lot if you are making illustrations that also take a lot of effort and time but with ai images now you can create a large amount of high quality images within a very short time that's why it has become a very lucrative way to make money i have already told you about my friend brian penny who made around 2000 dollars within very few months in adobe stock some prominent platforms that i recommend would be adobe stock dreamstime and 123 rf all of them accept ai generated images and adobe stock has been in the forefront of generative ai images from the very beginning until date that is where most of my stock image revenues come from for whom is this a viable option actually anyone and everyone can get started with this one i would recommend to study the stock image websites first learn what are the images that sells best which images are more in demand which are less and try to decipher why there is a demand from a certain type of image and try to create those images also try to create images for the vacant spaces where there is more demand but very less supply but as ai stock images are very easy to get into it is getting very much saturated very fast so if you want to build a long term business on the back of stock images i won't recommend this but if you want to build it up as a side hustle for next few months or maybe one or two years and don't want to take much stress from definitive clients and all then this is the best option you can get but also keep in mind as the competition is getting fierce you have to put in the extra effort and time if you really want to shine in this space we'll be going to the next one digital assets this is a trickier territory with much higher profit compared to stock images but it also takes much more time and effort to carefully craft the digital product that actually sells some examples of digital packs would be wallpaper packs sticker packs texture packs asset packs for people that does image bashing 3d bashing etc prominent platforms for selling digital assets are currently gumroad and artstation well there is a movement going against ai artists in artstation so i'd prefer gumroad much more compared to artstation for whom this is a viable option 2d artist 3d artists graphic designers that are actually in those fields and has a clear understanding of those products can make money with digital assets because if you try to create products that you yourself need and helps in your work then of course that will be helpful for others especially it helps if you are from those fields because you can use those products yourself showcase them in your workflow and put it in front of people that way they can see how they can make proper usage of that product there are many people that prefers to purchase ready made products instead of creating some of their own therefore if you understand the requirements in those fields and create digital products according to that then you can easily get a lot of sales you can use social media websites like facebook groups subreddits etc to market your products to very niche people which can give you a very high sales volume with a very lower number of audience the exception would be wallpaper packs sticker packs and icon packs actually everyone needs those therefore even if you are not a 2d or 3d artist or if you don't have understanding of those specific fields you can easily create those but you have to do some research about this because customer base of these products are actually regular people and we all know that more most people don't prefer to spend money for their computer wallpapers or stickers therefore if you want to make money in those fields you have to do a lot of research but as a result the competition also gets much lower because most people would not want to compete in these fields now moving on to the next physical products wait wait don't get afraid hearing the word physical products 
don't think you are gonna have to spend a lot of money to get started actually for the first one you can get started with zero investment print on demand products print on demand products are where you set up a shop with your digital designs that would come printed on the physical products but you don't have to create any physical product until the customer actually puts the order you would showcase a mo digital mock-up of your product on your website and once the customer actually makes an order only then the company prints the product and sends it to the customer there are multiple types of print on demand products you can create ranging from t-shirts mouse pads cups notebooks wallpapers framed images you can just go to redbubble and try out how many options you can get you can set up your personal shop with websites like shopify or you can set up a shop in etsy there's a high demand of these kinds of products and get those printed from redbubble or you can directly sell at redbubble the most on-demand products are generally t-shirts and coffee cups but if you have a knowledge about interior designs then you can also make a fortune by selling printed framed images of course who would not want to hang a beautiful image on their walls right for whom is this profitable the people with a good social media followings are likely to succeed in this business because in case of print on demand shops they don't actually push your products in front of customers unless you have already made large number of sales and that is applicable to almost all of the print on demand shops that i personally know of in case of stock image websites you don't need to market market your products but in case of print on demand products if you can't market your products then you won't make a sale and that's a fact so you have to keep in mind if you decide to get started on this territory my friend alan dogan started selling t-shirts with his unique ai designs and has made quite a fortune in this field but in case you are getting demotivated with the difficulties of this option we are moving on to the next option coloring books on amazon kdp this is really a unexplored territory there is a high demand of coloring books especially for adults and most companies don't actually make coloring books for adults because there is a very misconception that only kids are interested about coloring books and most businesses seems to follow that ideology that what works best follow that path therefore although there is a high supply of coloring books for kids there have never been much of a supply of coloring books for adults and with ai and amazon kdp in your hand you don't actually have to spend a fortune to try it out Actually, very few people that I know of have created coloring books with AI images and all of them has been money. It doesn't actually take much effort to put together a book, uh, an Amazon KDB account and get it published. What you need to do is add your own twist to the images to make them desirable. Again, my friend Alan has published multiple coloring books and all of those books has made quite a good number of sales. I'll put a link in the description so you can check it out in the supported countries and for those coloring books you don't have to make much marketing at all amazon itself pushes the products in front of customers also another thing you can do with ai images in amazon kdp is notebook journals and planners you can create outstanding covers for notebook journals and planners with ai images and use free templates from canva to create a truly useful product and sell them on amazon kdp as print on demand products now moving on to the last point of physical products that is selling stickers and wallpapers on etsy this one needs a lot more dedication as well as a lot of investments but that also means the number of computers is very low in this space because if you want to get started selling your own wallpapers converting ai textures or ai images into wallpapers you have to get them physically printed from somewhere if you want to get started with stickers you have to either get a large number of them printed from somewhere or have to buy a sticker printer and print them yourself so it takes a lot of determination and a lot more planning to get into this field therefore this is not for everyone also you have to have a very large social followings because again just like print on demand products these don't sell themselves you have to sell them you have to get them in front of the audience you have to market them into groups where people are interested in them you have to market them in your social media account like reddit facebook twitter instagram etc if you are in platforms like youtube tiktok or twitch then that helps a lot to get sales in these kinds of products so it helps a lot if you have already been sharing your work in front of people and there are avid fans of yours now the third category freelance this is the easiest one without starting something of your own you can get started with this one anytime any day without any investment it is very easy to get started with freelance job right now there are websites like fiverr upwork and peoplepower.com where you can make your account any day and start getting works within one or two weeks with the advent of internet it is very easy right now to find 
freelancers as well as employers i personally used fiverr mostly and what i can say you don't have to worry if you are a beginner or if you are a skilled one there is always a demand for any level of work in these websites with varying levels of payments and other prospects this is the broadest category with several different types of jobs also this is the category where i personally made most of my money from ai images this also gives you the opportunity to turn your freelance into part time jobs from them even into full time jobs you can also get lifelong clients or long term freelance projects from this one there are three types of jobs that are prominent in this category i would get started with the hardest and finish with the easiest graphic novels this is currently the most in demand job for ai artists and this is my personal favorite category among all this age because i love graphic novels comics manga everything and you might already know i along with another 10 awesome people from all over the world created this beautiful graphic novel when ai was just taking off you can scan this qr code if you want to read this from amazon kindle shop i'll also put a link in the description i'll also try to find the link to the facebook post where you can read it completely for free now there are many people that have been writing beautiful stories for graphic novels for a long time but could not afford artists because it is pretty expensive to hire someone to properly create a graphic novel and understandably so as it is very hard to create a complete graphic novel so the high barrier to entry kept it away from the hands of most graphic novel enthusiasts but now with ai tools the cost has come significantly down and therefore ai artists that can create graphic novels are high in demand currently for whom this is suitable well you have to have knowledge in at least one software that can create graphic novels but don't worry you don't have to learn complicated softwares like photoshop or after effects if you don't know it having the knowledge surely helps but but you can easily use easy and free tools like canva to create graphic novels my personal favorite is comic life 3 this is the easiest to use and you can create almost most styles of graphic novels with this one if you are a beginner my recommendation would be focus on learning the basics of graphic novels like paneling speech bubbles and other stuffs polish your skills and start working with anyone you can either practice with your own story or use tools like chat gpt to create a short story for yourself create works based on that and showcase that in your portfolio and when you have polished your skills enough getting high paying jobs would be very easy my friend julie heron is one of the best artists in this field and she works regularly for high paying graphic novel creation jobs the second one in this category is youtube thumbnails this is a category that has risen exponentially in the last few years the number of youtubers have been growing every single day and if you get skilled and polished in understanding the secret of great youtube thumbnails you can easily dominate the category lately i have started seeing many youtube thumbnails created with ai generated images and i am not talking about just channels based on ai images i am talking about all kinds of channels like channels based on productivity channels based on plants channels based on news everywhere so people are getting jobs and doing it in awesome way here the barrier to entry is almost similar to graphic novels you have to learn either canva or adobe express or something like photoshop i create most of my thumbnails using ai images and canva but if you want to get better in this category in future then you have to learn photoshop but you can always test the waters with canva and many renowned youtubers use thumbnails created in canva so you don't have to worry much about that what you have to learn that which types of thumbnails actually gets the click that is a highly debated topic and people keep researching and experimenting with stuff every now and then so that's the tough part in this job not the process itself rather the idea of the product therefore if you are willing to put in the work and create truly unique images then you can make a lot of money in a very short time few days back i saw a job opportunity from one of my favorite creators on youtube and if i remember correctly he was offering around 35k to 50k dollars per annum with work from home benefits though it is not much common to be offered such huge sum but this example alone should be enough to make you understand about the potential that lies in there you can learn all the skills necessary from online easily but you have to put in some effort to get really successful in this field now moving on to the next one miscellaneous category well this can be anything and everything the scope of interesting jobs you can find in this category is really limitless I mean I got to do some jobs I didn't even realize existed. I have done all sorts of jobs like movie posters, book covers, banners for events. If I start talking about this one I can spend an entire day talking about this. I should probably make a detailed video in this topic. Let me know in the comments if you want to watch such a video. 
well who this is for if you want to work in this category and be successful then you need to have at least basic knowledge of photoshop unless you want to do just some low level image generations on people's instructions uh, you can do that i have done that also there was a job i had to create 500 different kinds of images on a same theme but i did not really enjoy that one but initially you have to take in all kinds of jobs to keep your account running in those websites once you have gotten your stats high then you can choose to do some jobs and don't do others but if you want to be picky you have to be skillful and you have to have both ends of skills like skills on image generators like mid journey stable diffusion etc and also the skills on photoshop or procreate etc now the bonus method that i promised that is education if you are interested and enthusiastic about ai tools and stuff the things that are happening in ai world and have a knack about teaching then you can make money in this way also but this is a very specified field most people that are on this field are there since ai was being released to general public i have friends that has given lectures to prestigious universities got employed in big companies got employed in startups about ai the scope is really huge but but as i know almost all of them did it mainly for the love of ai and they started sharing whatever they loved with other people started guiding other newcomers that were coming into the field and made careers out of that some of the people that i regularly follow are sebastian kamp olivio saricas matt wolf they're doing really great works in ai work. but i have to say this is not exactly a route that leads you to money this is rather a path to knowledge exploration and fun so if money is your primary goals then i don't think you should go this route i'm currently doing this because i have a full-time job that keeps me and my family well fed so i can afford to do this but that is not the case for everyone therefore if you really want to be an educator then i think you should think it through there are two obvious mistakes that most people make the first one is they don't choose the path most suitable to themselves now the second mistake that most people make is that they don't really put much effort in any of the ways and give up too soon they either try for a few days if they are not making money in one field they just hop on to other and wander around for a few days then hop on to the next one it doesn't work like that in any field be it with ai images without ai anywhere you have to put in the effort for quite a some time before you can start seeing the results although i have explained eight methods here i did not actually succeed in all of them i have made quite a good amount of money in adobe stock and i have made a lot more with freelancing but that's it i put up a red bubble shop that has made zero sales i spent up days creating some digital assets published them on art station and i only got four sales they didn't even make up the 25 dollar threshold that needed to withdraw that money do you know why i failed in those fields and succeeded in the others because i did not put in the effort there i had no knowledge of which kinds of digital products are actually wanted by people i just created a texture pack of wooden fussers because i saw someone making thousands of dollars with ai generated texture packs and published on our station but the difference was he was a renowned artist who used those assets in his own works and showcased them on art station well i was no one i had nothing to show same with print on demand i just created a red bubble shop while i have negligible social followings i'm not even much active on social media and i thought just publishing the link here and there in four groups for one day would give me sales and they gave me zero sales that's natural but in case of adobe stock i actually put in the effort i learned for days generated different kinds of images learned how to write the captions properly did research about which images do make sales and kept uploading for months and months and months that's how i got sales same with freelance i did not just create an account in fiber and left it there i created beautiful portfolios i researched which kind of freelance jobs are in demand and created jobs based on that the first offers was very low i did little five dollar jobs here and there in fiber and then once i have developed up my skills i have up my stats then i increased the price and i started getting 15 dollar 20 dollar 50 dollar 100 dollar works that's how it is supposed to be there is no shortcut to that let me know in the comments which one do you think is most suitable to you and why if you are new to this channel hi i am devargo currently working full time as a banker and pursuing my passion with ai tools in the spare time and do you know what mistake people made when they get started with ai generated stock images they don't study properly therefore here is a list of seven tips that you can use to make large sum of money in adobe stock 